This is a dynamic place. There's a high concentration of creative people here, music, the arts, not just science and engineering. And that's a dynamic that makes everybody excited about what they're doing. You can use the word diversity and not just in culture or in background where like people come from, but also diversity in how you think. Uh, the model fits the data very well. We have an atmosphere of collegiality that's hard to manufacture on purpose. Other places that I've been, it hasn't been as collegial as, as it is here. Um, and you don't necessarily go out looking for that, but it just sort of happens organically, I suppose. And so that's one of the things that's here in this department that I would never want to let go of. I'm actually co-advised, and that's something that's a little bit different here, um, is that there's a lot of students that have multiple advisors. It's interesting about interdisciplinary activity because big problems require more than one set of eyes and actually more than one set of tools. And we try to foster an environment where students can come in and learn new things that we as faculty didn't really anticipate learning. And that's, that's really the fun part, watching the students learn and having the students teach us what they're learning on a daily basis in the lab. I like students who, who are smart, who are self-motivated, but most of all who are intellectually curious. They want to know why things happen. The building was built in such a way that there's a, a common atrium that uh, really facilitates interactions. So it's, it's like a, a community square. Very often, they're congregating and talking about work uh, between groups. I think that that cross-fertilization between groups is, is really, really important. Part of the collegiality of this department is that your project is not imposed on you. You're pointed to an area. We're working here. There's a lot of interesting things to do here. What part of it really excites you? My advisor gives me the freedom to explore what I want to explore. So yes, I do have a project that I'm working on, but I have a couple of different side projects that are my passions and my interests. When you decide where you're going to go to graduate school, it has to be more than just the science. You know, you're not just choosing where you're going to go to school. You're choosing where you're going to live for four to five years. There's a reason that this area is always ranked one of the top places to live in the entire country. It's a very young and progressive city. It's just high quality of life. The Triangle area has a kind of an entrepreneurial spirit, so you always you always hear about uh, new companies opening up, so uh, you're not having to chase your dreams elsewhere. They really, really do encourage students to go out and have a life outside of research because, you know, your research is important, but graduate school is also where you develop as a person. It's one of the fastest way to bond with a lot of your other graduate students because, you know, if you can't bond over like kicking someone with basically, you know, a stick and a ball on ice, then there's no other way that you're going to bond. Students know best. Their gut tells them where to go. And when they come here for recruiting week and they get a sense of our personality. And our personality resonates with a lot of students. I remember when I officially made my decision was when I came to NC State's recruiting weekend. I was pretty set on going to another university until I came to visit NC State. We focus on using liquid metals. The reason is because they can move through microchannels much easier. We want someone who is, is here for the right reason, who really loves to do research and is curious and wants to learn about the world around them. It's really based on electroosmosis. And is looking to become a leader in their field. Thank you. The reputation of our department and the knowledge that people have of what we're doing is growing and it's spreading and it's, it's becoming a force to be reckoned with. If you look at the global challenges we face, clean air, clean water, climate change, uh, depletion of petroleum and other resources, what engineering is about is saying, okay, is there another way to solve this problem? That's exactly what you'll be able to do here at NC State, is solve the problems that are facing society right now.